Welcome to Inspire and Grow Rich. I will summarize a very good book called Genius Foods, Become Smarter Happier and More Productive While Protecting Your Brain. Chapter 1. The brain is the most powerful organ in the human body. Everything you are, do, love, feel, care for, long for, and aspire to is enabled by an incredibly complex, invisible symphony of neurological processes. The way we live today is undermining our incredible birthright and putting us at risk for some seriously nasty afflictions. Food companies, operating under the invisible hand of the market, are driven by shareholders to deliver ever increasing profits. Our underfunded healthcare system and scientific research apparatus are stuck playing catch up. Physicians, nutritionists, and even the government are influenced by powers beyond the naked eye. We visited some of the highest ranking neurology departments in the United States. After each visit, we were sent on our way with a prescription for band-aids and little else. As I learned more about how food plays into our risk for diseases like Alzheimer's, I integrated each new finding into my own life to improve my health. In the mid-90s it was discovered that new brain cells can be generated throughout the life of the adult human. The concept of lifelong neuroplasticity was born, and with it a unique opportunity to mine this landmark discovery for greater health and performance. Mia Kivapelto explores how we can protect and enhance our brains. The Finger Trial is the world's first ongoing, large-scale, long-term randomized control trial. Over 1,200 at-risk older adults are enrolled in nutritional counseling and exercise programs. Overall cognitive function of those in the intervention group increased by 25% compared to controls. Over 90% of Americans believe brain health is very important, but few know how to maintain or improve it. Understanding this code was the goal of the Human Genome Project, completed in 2002. Enter epigenetics, the phoenix to rise from the project's ashes. What you eat can determine whether you'll be able to modulate inflammation, train, a prize-winning immune system, and produce powerful brain-boosting compounds. This book will position you to be in the 20% as we address how to keep your brain and vascular system healthy. In the next few chapters, I'll describe an evidence-based antidote to the brain-shrinking standard American diet and lifestyle. These bad guys are inflammation, overfeeding, nutrient deficiencies, toxic exposure, chronic stress, physical stagnation, and sleep loss. Good quality sleep is a precondition for optimal brain function and health. It gives you the ability to make dietary and lifestyle changes by making sure your hormones are working for you, not against you. In this book, you'll learn how to reclaim your brain from the clutches of our discordant, high-stress lifestyles. Inflammation can strongly negate neuroplasticity, the ability of the brain to change throughout life, and even produce feelings of depression. Extra virgin olive oil, IVU, has been shown to reduce plaque levels in Alzheimer's disease. IVU is also a rich source of monounsaturated fat that helps maintain the health of your blood vessels and your liver, and can even help you lose weight. Chapter Number 2 Summary The Big Fat Surprise chronicles the food revolution of the 1960s and 70s, when Americans were hungry for a solution to heart disease. Many dietitians' concepts of diet at the time were the result of misguided nutrition science and biased government policy. And it was all total bull. Incel Keys is often credited for having set off the domino effect that sculpted nutrition policy. His argument was built on data that was biased and ultimately misconstrued. John Yudkin, founding professor of the Department of Nutrition at Queen Elizabeth College in London, was one of Keyes' critics. In 1967, a review of the dietary causes of heart disease was published in the prestigious New England Journal of Medicine. The scientists behind it were each paid the equivalent of $50,000 in today's money by the Sugar Research Foundation. Reanalysis confirms that sugar has always correlated more strongly with heart disease risk than any other nutrient. The frankenfood floodgates were open and the food supply was awash in fake products. They were processed doppelgangers of real foods, now accompanied by a low-fat or fat-free halo. In the 1970s, nutrition researcher Richard Keyes shifted focus from total fat consumption to saturated fat. Saturated fat is solid at room temperature and is found in foods like beef, pork, and dairy. This type of fat can clog pipes, so it made sense that this would happen in the body as well. Fats take a marquee role in every aspect of your life. The kinds of fats you consume dictate both the moment-to-moment -moment quality of your brain's function and its predilection to disease. 
By the end of this chapter, you'll be able to choose the fat-containing foods that optimize your cognitive performance, executive function, mood, and long-term brain health. As coveted as polyunsaturated fats are by the brain, they are also highly vulnerable to oxidation. Oxidation occurs when oxygen reacts chemically with certain molecules to create a new, damaged, zombie, molecule. These radicals make the White Walkers from Game of Thrones look like a caravan of pacifist hippies. Excessive oxidation is thought to be one of the primary mechanisms of aging. Chronic inflammation or diseases like type 2 diabetes impair our ability to fight the accumulation of oxidative stress. When oxidative stress overwhelms our natural antioxidant systems, memory loss, DNA damage, and the onset or worsening symptoms of Alzheimer's can ensue. Aldehydes are by-products of fat oxidation and have been found in elevated amounts in Alzheimer's riddled brains. Aldehyde exposure, resulting from consuming rancid oils, directly impairs cells' ability to generate energy. These fats fuel the underlying mechanisms of chronic disease, damaging your DNA and causing inflammation in your blood vessels. Food industry search for cheap oil resulted in a veritable rogues gallery of deplorable. Cottonseed, canola, safflower, sunflower, and soy oils are bad news hidden virtually anywhere manufacturers can squeeze them. These oils now make up 8 to 10 percent of total caloric intake for Americans, up from almost zero at the turn of the century. Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's, vascular dementia, MS and chronic fatigue syndrome can all be likened to forest fires in the brain. Our immune systems are in a constant state of activation, not due to infectious threat but to what we're eating. Omega-6 fats are the raw materials used in our body's inflammation pathways. Cutting out polyunsaturated oils from your diet can increase your consumption of foods that are naturally high in omega-3s. This can be achieved by sticking to wild fish, pastured eggs, and grass-fed or pasture-raised meats. If you don't like fish, or are unable to consume it two to three times per week, consider supplementing with high-quality fish oil. Omega-3 fats and particularly DHA support the brain by increasing its supply of a protein called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF. BDNF is known for its ability to promote the creation of new neurons in the memory center of the brain. It also acts as a bodyguard to existing brain cells, helping to ensure their survival. In conditions where BDNF levels are low, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, the ability of the brain to change is impaired. Extra virgin olive oil is the ultimate sauce, used liberally on steak, beans, vegetables, bread, pizza, pasta, and seafood. Omega-3 fatty acids scavenge and neutralize free radicals generated by polyunsaturated fats. Welcoming saturated fats such as coconut oil, grass-fed butter, and ghee back to the kitchen may have a major benefit on your health. High levels of saturated fats have been linked with increased risk for dementia. Trans fats are unsaturated fats that behave in some ways like saturated fats. Eating more fat-rich foods like eggs, avocado, fatty fish, and extra virgin olive oil can help boost your immune system. Avocados have the highest total fat protecting capacity of any fruit or vegetable. 25% of the oxygen you breathe goes to create energy in your brain. Chapter Number 3 in the blink of an eye, we went from a roaming tribal forager to a settler with planted crops and animals. The advent of agriculture fed a vicious spiral of behavioral demands that changed the nature of our brains. Today's diets are dominated by three crops, wheat, rice and corn, which together account for 60% of the world's calorie intake. Our entire circulating plasma volume contains just one single teaspoon of sugar at any given time. Brown rice contains more fiber and micronutrients than white rice, but it's not a great source of either. Like oxidation, some degree of glycation is going to occur as an inevitable part of life. But we can slow the rate of oxidation in our bodies by avoiding oxidized oils. The safest cooking style involves moist heat, such as sautéing or steaming. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, affects 30% of adults in the United States. Excessive consumption of fruit may induce metabolic and cognitive derangements on par with processed carbs. Just by temporarily dialing up the amount of sugar in mice's blood, amyloid production dramatically increased. Once insulin sensitivity is restored, exercise has become a habit, unprocessed carb sources can be reintroduced. Chapter 4. More grains equal more health, is a myth that misled consumers about the nutritional value of grains. 
The Mediterranean diet is healthy not because of grains, but in spite of them. Cutting carbohydrate intake could provide a meaningful and safe lifestyle modification. A very low carbohydrate diet will have the amount of total insulin secreted by the pancreas. Insulin interferes with the body's housekeeping tasks, including brain cleanup while you sleep. 40% of Alzheimer's cases may be attributable to hyperinsulinemia alone. Alzheimer's patients tend to have higher levels of the inactive form of IRS-1, a marker of reduced insulin sensitivity in the brain. Maintaining the brain's insulin sensitivity throughout life may be a major step toward preventing the disease. The window after exercise is generally the safest time for carbs, like sweet potatoes or rice, to be consumed. Adding fat to a carbohydrate meal can reduce the glucose spike, but also increase the amount of insulin released. Chronic exposure to noise pollution can drive chronic, low-grade stress, which can in turn affect metabolic health. Sleep deprivation can lead to impaired insulin sensitivity that affects blood sugar control. Part 2. Chapter 5. Eating cholesterol-rich foods has no negative effect on health in general or on risk of cardiovascular diseases. The health of your veins and arteries affects more than just the heart and your potential for heart disease. Cholesterol is a vital nutrient for the body and particularly for the brain, where 25% of the body's total cholesterol content can be found. Vascular dementia is the second most common form of dementia after Alzheimer's. Adults with metabolic syndrome generally have low HDL, high triglycerides, and elevated blood pressure, blood sugar, and abdominal fat. The key is to regain insulin sensitivity, then work on turning on the liver's anti-inflammatory machinery. An estimated 20 million Americans take satins, making them the most widely prescribed class of drug in the world. With satins so widely prescribed, are they helping anybody aside from Big Pharma's bottom line? The NNT for satins in at-risk adults is 100 to prevent one cardiac event, heart attack or stroke, with no effect on death rate. For satins, the NNH to develop muscle damage, myopathy, is 9, or about 1 in 10 patients. Chapter 6. Ketones are considered a clean-burning fuel and can provide 60% of the brain's energy requirements. Ketones increase the availability of antioxidants like glutathione, the body's most potent neutralizer of free radicals. Intermittent fasting or a diet very low in carbohydrates can lead to ketosis. Other fasting protocols being studied include alternate day fasting and periodic very low-calorie diets. The ketogenic diet is the gold standard means of dramatically increasing ketone production without engaging in time-restricted feeding or dropping calories. Ketogenic diets are not meant to be high in protein because excess protein can be transformed into glucose in the body, a process called gluconeogenesis. Females on ultra-low carb, ketogenic diets can experience stalled weight loss, mood issues and disruption of their menstrual cycles. Ketones are considered a super fuel capable of reducing oxidative stress in the brain and upregulating genes involved in neuroplasticity. Ketogenic diets have even been shown to increase the number of brain mitochondria. Supplementing with coconut oil or even with commercially available pure MCT oil in the non-fasted state is the equivalent of pouring water into an already full cup. Grass-fed beef is a rich source of essential minerals like iron and zinc. Chapter 7. Gut is composed of trillions of bacteria called commensals, which comes from the Latin word commensalis, meaning, sharing a table. The gastrointestinal tract has a different climate the farther down one travels. Overgrowth of bacteria in the small intestine can cause bloating and abdominal pain. FEC Fecal Microbiota Transplant FMT, has been found to be more than 90% successful. A gluten-free diet reduces both zonulin levels and gut permeability, associated with significant improvement in both gastrointestinal symptoms and cognitive function. Consuming probiotic-rich foods like kimchi, kombucha, and kefir can enhance the effects of a high-fiber, low-carbohydrate diet as described in this book. In Chapter 10 of this book, I'll share research on exercise that renders those long, grueling cardio sessions totally unnecessary. A low-fiber diet erodes gut bacteria, forcing them to actually consume the mucosal layer. Overweight people have more firmicutes in their microbiomes, while lean people have fewer bacteroidetes. Some studies show value probiotics may hold for those suffering from depression, anxiety, and dementia. Probiotics may even boost cognitive function in patients with advanced Alzheimer's disease. 
The sinus cavity provides direct access to the brain via its rich vascular bed of capillaries. Dark leafy greens are packed with vitamins, minerals and phytonutrients that the brain desperately needs. Whole grains contain very small amounts of prebiotic fiber and a large amount of insoluble fiber, which is unable to be metabolized by gut bacteria. Poor oral health has been linked to a number of systemic illnesses, including stroke, diabetes and dementia. Chapter 8. Prescription drugs alter levels of chemical messengers called neurotransmitters. Drugs have no disease-modifying ability, meaning they do nothing to solve the underlying problems. Mice given probiotics showed a marked increase in anti-anxiety GABA receptors in certain parts of the brain. Exercise has been shown to promote balance, boosting both GABA and glutamate in the human brain. No SSRI was as effective as exercise, three times per week, in combating depression. Gut-derived serotonin does not cross the blood-brain barrier. Certain genes modulate neurotransmitter function and thus play a role in key aspects of personality. Taking a deliberate time out, from otherwise dopamine-reinforcing habits can be an incredibly effective way of boosting motivation. Norepinephrine, or adrenaline, is an important neurotransmitter in the brain and plays a key role in focus and attention. Eating, engaging in risky activities and taking substances that hijack and short-circuit the brain's reward system can create unhealthy and self-destructive addictions. Hormones are involved in everything from mood to metabolism, and understanding them will be the final piece in understanding the role of nutrition. Exercise may be the best form of medicine for the ADHD brain. Part 3. Chapter 9. Sleep loss is a toxin to your energy creating mitochondria, putting it in the same category as processed oils and sugar. 50% of millennials have been kept awake at least one night due to stress. Sleep deprivation can lead to a reduced ability to regulate our emotions. Use an app as an alarm clock to wake you only when your sleep has entered one of its lighter phases. Overweight and obese women with low levels of leptin are more prone to depression and anxiety. Growth hormone, or GH, is known primarily for its role as a repair hormone, but it's also a powerful cognitive modulator. Most growth hormone is produced during slow-wave sleep, so getting two to three full cycles is critical. Low-calorie diets without carbohydrate restriction can lead to muscle loss concurrent with fat loss. Chronic stress can cause inflammation, elevated blood sugar, insulin resistance, nutrient deficiencies and more. Sleep is sacred. Keeping your hormones healthy and helping your brain better regulate your emotions. Eating wild salmon is rich source of EPA and DHA omega-3 fats and powerful carotenoid called astaxanthin. It's also shown to switch on genes that protect against DNA damage and the stresses of aging. Chapter number 10. Exercise has been found to be one of the best known means of boosting brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Excessive sitting has been linked to early mortality. Research suggests that exercise can augment our brains to become more resilient to psychological stress. Increasing muscle mass means more calories burned to fuel those muscles, even when you're just waiting in line at the supermarket. Sauna therapy gives your brain a potent workout and might play a powerful role in protecting it from aging. Boosting prolactin with saunas may also help treat MS. Avoid chronic cardio or sustained high output training, such as a hard 45 minute run. Instead, opt for a 90 to 120 minute hike, smiling and conducting a conversation the whole way. Intermittent fasting is one of the best ways to enhance your vitality and vigor. Fasting can improve markers of metabolic health including our ability to use glucose and fat as fuel. Alternatives to fasting include alternate day fasting and back-to-back -back very low calorie days. Eating raw cruciferous vegetables can lead to iodine deficiency. So it is important to eat more sea vegetables and salmon, eggs, and turkey. Chapter 11. The crux of eating for an optimally performing brain is consuming a diet that is high in nutrient-dense foods. Eating a grain-free diet reduces the risk for prediabetes, metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes, as well as increased energy and stamina. You will feel happier and more social. You will reduce inflammation throughout your body and as a result may diminish symptoms of conditions caused by inflammation. Inflammation is a common denominator in many neurodegenerative disorders, including Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and ALS. All sources of wheat and gluten, bread, pasta, rolls, cereals, baked goods, noodles, soy sauce, oatmeal. Industrial-grade emulsifiers. 
anything with polysorbate 80 or carboxymethyl cellulose in the ingredients list. Most oatmeal contains gluten unless it explicitly says, gluten-free, on the label. Nuts and seeds. Almonds and almond butter, cashews, pistachios, pecans, walnuts, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, chia seeds. Vegetables. Kale, spinach, collard greens, mustard greens, broccoli, chard, cabbage, onions, mushrooms, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kimchi, pickles, artichokes, alfalfa sprouts. You can eat more carbs if you're extremely active, but should generally aim for less than 75 grams of net carbs per day. Carb intake can be increased during exercise, so feel free to try extra virgin olive oil and protein-packed lunches and dinners. See Chapter 12 for many of the recipes detailed below. Eating mostly vegetables also helps neutralize oxidative free radicals that are generated during the cooking process. To cover your food bases, try eating a huge salad every single day and loading it up with healthy fats and protein. Harvard School of Public Health has banned dairy from its healthy eating plate. The key is to aim for one huge salad daily, and there is plenty of room for healthy variety. Make sure you own a very large bowl, the bigger the better, and opt for nutrient-packed ingredients. Milk contains compounds that have been linked to headaches, delayed psychomotor development, autism, and type 1 diabetes. Steer clear of fake gluten-free foods with highly processed gluten-free doppelgangers, such as most gluten-free cookies and bread products. Drinking on an empty stomach may allow the liver to process alcohol without impeding digestive processes. Mix low-carb days with higher-carb days to fuel workouts and muscle growth. Aim for 100 to 150 grams of carbs post-workout on heavy workout days. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications for future video.